What's going on guys? Hey, welcome to Wrenched Out Reviews. Today we're gonna to be talking about the drones, both the DJI Phantom 4 Advanced and the 3DR Solo, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so we have the DJI Phantom Pro or Advanced. It's actually the Advanced, and we also have the 3DR Solo. So today we're gonna just talk real briefly about some of the subtle differences we've seen between the two, and then we're gonna do a couple of videos on each one of these bad boys. So if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in these or some of our other content on the YouTube channel. Again, I'm Anthony, and this is the Wrenched Out Experiment. So uh, first and foremost, we have the DJI Phantom. This is a fantastic new school drone, shoots in 4K and a lot of other great things. We've shot a lot of footage with this. If you guys haven't seen the Martini Project, which is the vlog, if you guys check that out or check out some of our other videos, you'll see, at least the more recent videos, you'll see a lot of footage shot with this. However, if you look at some of our older content, you're gonna see a lot of footage that we shot with the 3DR. So we have used both of these quite a bit and we've also crashed both of them and we have some experience there as well. So let's kind of dive into this. It's gonna be kind of an open talk. I'm not gonna go into a lot of specifics and details. I'm just gonna talk about the goods and the bads of both of these bad boys and uh, we'll go from there. So. Obviously, this is DJI's flagship. There's the Mavic Pro, which is the smaller compact version that a lot of guys are using. Um, I almost actually got that instead of the Phantom, um, and that was just because of the mobility, throwing it in your backpack and just going, in some cases, you could throw it in your pocket. Um, but this specific unit, obviously it shoots in 4K, it shoots uh, in 1080p, and you got variable frame rates. The one thing I will say about this is this unit does move around quite a bit. It does have a bunch of features through the app and through everything else. The batteries are, are good. Um, there's I've got filters, the ND filters that are on it. This unit does work great. Um, I recently did actually uh, crash it. Uh, a gust of wind came in and it pulled it right into some trees. I'm gonna do a video just on that uh, while I was out shooting some terrain here in Alaska. But as far as functionality and everything else, the DJI Phantom, I would suggest to someone that has flown a little bit, I wouldn't spend the money and then send it up in the air and you could potentially lose it. The tracking system on it and the overall functionality for a novice I, I don't think this is probably the best unit for you. Just get like a Phantom 3 or get something older or maybe a 3DR um, and that, that would probably fit you better. Now obviously if you're going for epic pictures and all of that, it does have the bigger sensor. It is a, it takes some beautiful photos. It takes some beautiful footage as well. I just feel like this requires or you should have a little bit more uh, drone flying and everything under your belt before you kind of jump in and invest all that money into this guy. Um, again, I'll go into the crash and whatnot a little bit later. The sensors on it, it does have the front and rear sensors. It does work very well as far as sensing goes. Um, the 4K footage though, I will say with this, it's kind of goofy because if you're using Adobe Premiere, there's not codex built in for it, so it's hit and miss on what you can use, especially for shooting in 60 frames per second, which is kind of crappy if you spend all this money on this unit and then you can't even use the footage because it won't play back or you can't cut it into something like this. So let's go over to the 3DR drone though. The 3DR, we've had this bad boy for years. Um, in fact, we I, I did lose one. It, was in a uh, on a bridge. You can look back through the wrenched out experiment footage. I've got a video just on that. I did lose one. 
Um, but since then, I haven't, I haven't even crashed this bad boy. It has done a fantastic job. One of the things I do like about this, in lieu of kind of the 3DR, is you'll notice a considerable size difference between the two of them. So if you take a, kind of the top down view, if you, if you look at it in this sense, this thing when you're flying it, the 3DR, I mean, it, it's got a wider stance and a bigger kind of footprint overall. So when this thing hums around, I mean, you can get really smooth uh, shots and it, I, I almost feel like it's a little bit more stable when there's a little bit of wind in the air, to tell you the truth, than this guy. This guy, if there's any kind of wind or gust of wind that comes through when you're flying it, it tends to move a lot more than the 3DR. Um, so a couple of things, the 3DR, and obviously the stance of them is quite different as well. As you can see, this has got a wider stance and this has got kind of a narrow stance. The body's a lot bigger, the propellers are out a lot further. Um, the camera on this is obviously a GoPro. We've used the Hero 4 in this. Um, that's, and, and we'll go into that here in a few minutes, but um, the 3DR I think does a fantastic job. And it's also, in my opinion, a lot easier to fly just because it's, it, it's just a smoother, in my opinion, a smoother flight uh, than the DJI. But the DJI obviously has the technology backing it, which gives it kind of the edge overall when it comes to shooting footage and shooting photos. Um, and I say that not just because, you know, the Hero does a great, a great job. However, th there's a dedicated camera right on the DJI Ronin, or not the Ronin, excuse me, the Phantom, that it's, it's built just for it. The one nice thing though I, that I will give the 3DR points on is you can use this camera and then throw it on yourself or, or hook it in your car and it's more versatile because this is your camera itself. So the 3DR, we are charging up some batteries. Um, the, the battery life, I think the DJI wins there as well. These guys, depending on how hard you're pushing either unit, whether you're flying it around at a rapid pace, shoot, you know, depending on what you're shooting in, how you're shooting, if you have the gimbal, this, this has the electronic gimbal on it. It does not come with the electronic gimbal. So if you're not running a gimbal, I would imagine that you get probably a better battery life out of this because then you're not using the uh, power to run this thing around. So. That is the 3DR. Again, the 3DR, it just hooks in. If you're gonna use the GoPro, it just kind of clips in and then there you go. And both of these units are similar in the fashion. I've got the 3DR, both of them use your cell phone or a tablet um, and they both have similar RC controllers as well. So if you're a beginner, I, I would go toward this or maybe even like the Mavic, the Mavic is a little bit cheaper than this, but has, I've seen just some incredible footage from this, from, from all of them. I mean, these guys are really dialed in. Obviously the 3DR, uh, the Solo is a little bit aged when it, when it comes to some of the newer gear. The, the Mavic Pro just came out, the Phantom 4 Pro, the Phantom 4 Advanced, um, light years of difference. Um, but the Hero 4 cameras, I mean, if you have one of these hooked to it, you're running a black, you're still running 4K. I've shot 4K with it and it is some wonderful footage. So don't let that kind of discourage you if you're looking at running either of these units or the Mavic Pro in which we may or may not get um, here in the near future. So let's go back to it real quick. As far as everything else though, if, if you're looking at getting a drone, to, it doesn't matter what kind you get. I mean, the, the preference for us is now DJI because the 3DR isn't supported like it once was. You don't have to run a Hero, a hero Cam. This, you can run an assortment of other cameras in this if you, if you choose to. Um, this, you're, you are locked into whatever camera comes with your DJI because it is a dedicated camera. Um, just some simple stuff with this. I'll put links to 
Both of these and then some accessories that I would highly suggest if you're looking at getting a drone um, down below. So hit those if you're looking at getting a drone or accessories. Number one, if you're buying a drone, doesn't matter which one it is or which company it is or some other company, you, a couple of things that you really have to get out of the box is A, get an assortment of batteries. I've got three batteries for the 3DR. I've got three batteries for the DJI. You have to have an assortment of batteries. You don't want to go in with one battery. It doesn't matter if it's a Mavic. It doesn't matter if it's the Phantom. It doesn't matter if it's 3DR. It doesn't matter if you're running one of the other brands. You need to get in, uh, multiple batteries. You also want to have a, the, I would suggest the largest memory card that the unit can handle. And the reason is for both of those, the battery and the large memory card is because if you're out shooting or even if you're, you're learning how to fly and, and you're out having a great time, the last thing you wanna deal with is your memory card uh, fills up or your batteries are dying and you don't get that time to get it out there and learn how to fly it. Or if you are, you're, 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 you're a pro and you've flown them for years, obviously you already know that you're only getting uh, give or take with either one of these or even the Mavic, roughly about 20 minutes worth of flight time. Now, if you're uh, more of a novice or an amateur or even a pro, you're gonna go out there and you're gonna know what you wanna shoot and you're gonna do it either in sequence to where you're gonna run around with it recording and flying around, getting your shots that you've already established, or you're gonna go out and kind of look around and then get your established shots. Either way, you still need enough life to be able to do both or either one of those things. So get multiple batteries. Again, we'll put links to all of those below. Now, the remote controls with both of these guys, th they last a long time. Um, I have yet to have a remote control die on me. If you keep it charged up whenever you're done, shooting, keep it charged up, bring the, bring the charger just in case, but these remotes last a long time. So you don't have to worry so much there, just bring the charger with you. Now, another item that you have to get if you're flying these or Mavic or any other, any other drone is get some extra props, um, the, these propellers on, on either unit. If you do just so happen to crash it, there is a chance that the unit itself is gonna be fine and the last thing you wanna do is crash your unit and then you're out of a propeller and you could go fly it again. I mean, these guys are pretty cheap. There's, there's one from the crash here. Um, I have broken off the propellers just on these. Um, my, actually, my first flight with the 3DR, I uh, got it in the air, took a wrong turn. It hit a tree fell right to the ground, everything was fine, except for I lost two propellers, which is another one of those things. Get propellers. Now, I did order some propeller guards for the 3D, or for the DJI. Um, I never got any for this. This was kind of a one-time propeller issue, and that was it. Now, I, I'll do a full test on how well those work and what that looks like when we get those for the DJI. So. Uh, let's step back here. A couple of things, whether you're using these units or you're using a GoPro Karma or you're using um, the Mavic or, or whatever it is you're doing, get multiple batteries. That's a have to because you're gonna hate life if you're at that epic peak of the mountain and you only get 20 minutes of fly time. It goes the same for your memory card. So those are a couple of things that you're gonna have to have if you're gonna be using these units. I would highly suggest it. The other thing is you need to look at getting some kind of bag to carry these things in, right? These are investments and your drone should be looked at that. I mean, if you're a cinematographer, a videographer, then these are investments. If you're a photographer and you're using this for photography, these are investments. These are, it's just like using your, uh, expensive camera. I'm not gonna just throw my, my Canon 80D into a bag or into my pocket or wear it around my neck all the time. I'm gonna end up getting some kind of cover or case for this or something that goes with this. So I would highly suggest, especially in both of these cases, in really any case, even if you're using the Mavic and it's small, get some kind of bag that you can transport it safely in. Don't just throw it in your truck, your car, 
or just grab it and throw it around. These are expensive and the more stuff you get for them, the higher that dollar value goes up with them. So make sure and get a bag. Again, I'll link some of the bags um, that we've used um, down below. Uh, we, we have a bag just for this that works really well. We'll go into details on that at a later date. We have the 3DR bag that goes with this. I'll show you guys that at a later date as well, just as kind of a, its own video. Um, but you want some kind of protection for both of these units and any unit that you're using because another thing you don't want is these gimbals and everything else like on the, on the DJI, I mean this gimbal, there, I normally have a piece of styrofoam that locks into it that kind of holds it. You don't want this thing jarring around, kind of slamming, I mean, that is your camera. And then it goes the same for this. I have a large piece of styrofoam that sits and locks into the top of this that secures the gimbal so the gimbal isn't taking a beating while it's being transported to wherever it is that we're going. So make sure and keep that stuff. It comes, both of them come with it. Um, and then there's some optional ones for both of them as well, depending on what you're doing. The DJI, if you're putting filters on it, it does have a option for uh, the lens. There's a little lens thing that holds it up and props it up that you should get as well. There's a bunch of other accessories you can get for them. Filters are one. Um, the leg extensions for the 3DR Solo. Um, there are some lighting and a bunch of other accessories that you can get for the DJI. We're not gonna dive into those today, but that is really kind of the breakdown or the quick breakdown of the two drones that we have used for years. So on top of that, of, of course, I gotta mention, if you guys are flying, look up your state and local FAA rulings. Don't fly next to aircrafts or if you live next to an airport, don't fly next to those guys. Um, look up your, whatever your FAA ruling is in your area and of course, get your uh, stuff registered. You don't wanna fly unregistered. It's just not the right thing to do. And if you're a novice or you've never flown before, do it in your own yard or find a friend or family member that has a large yard or go to a public school and schools out and go out to one of their fields, whether it's a soccer field or a football field or whatever, and kind of put it up in the air. Take your time with this stuff. I mean, again, there's a lot, you guys spend a lot of money on these. We've spent a lot of money on these. The last thing you wanna do is either wreck your drone, hurt someone, hurt yourself, or lose a piece of equipment just because you decided to buy a, you know, spend 1500 bucks, throw a battery in it, you go out and you do something crazy. So take the time to learn your products, especially when it comes to drones. These guys, you can get some fantastic footage, whether you're starting a business or you're doing it as a hobbyist. Uh, these are tools and that's how they should be treated. So, hey, we wanna thank you guys for checking out Wrenched Out Reviews. I know this is kind of a broad overview of the drones that we use, but we, we're gonna continue this series and we've got a lot of cool videos that we're gonna incorporate both drones in here in the near future. So if you guys, again, haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below or at the end of the video. Uh, we really do appreciate it. We're gonna continue doing these videos and many others. Um, Links to all the products we talked about today are below as well. Uh, we do appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget, we do have a Facebook page, which is Wrench It Out Experiment, and we also are on Instagram. So make sure and uh, stop by those areas too. If you're flying a drone, guys, fly safe, take care, and we'll see you guys around.